Welcome to iLecture Online and now for a good example of why this works. Why can we use Green's theorem to find the area of an object or a figure that otherwise would be quite difficult to do using calculus? So here is the equation that we derived on the previous video. Here's the ellipse. Here's the equation of the ellipse defined by a and b. a and b probably are different numbers. If they're the same then you have a circle and we can convert from Cartesian coordinates x and y to polar coordinates by letting a equals eight, x equals a times the cosine of theta and y equals b times the sine of theta and their differentials. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug those into our equation right here. That means that the area of the ellipse is equal to one half times the integral. Now instead of integrating over x and y, of course we can't do that on one single integral, we have to somehow come up with a parametric equation. In this case we're going to convert x and y to the angle theta and to the constants a and b. So x is now going to become a times the cosine of theta multiplied times dy which is b times the cosine of theta d theta minus y which is equal to b times the sine of theta multiplied times dx which is a minus a times the sine of theta d theta. Okay now you can see and of course this is going to be an integral over the entire path along the uh, ellipse and of course we're going to go in a counterclockwise direction positive orientation but notice here that we can factor out an a times b they're both constants we have an a times b this negative will cancel out that negative so this will now look like a is equal to one half times the integral now we're going to integrate all the way around the ellipse so we're going to start from zero all the way to two pi since we now have the angle as our variable so from zero to two pi and oh I forgot to take out the a times b let me do that that was the whole objective here. So one half times a b times the integral from zero to two pi. And notice we have the cosine squared of theta plus, because this negates that negative, that becomes the sine square of theta times d theta. And of course, whenever you see the cosine square plus the sine square, that becomes one. So this is, is equal to area is one half times a b times integral from 0 to 2 pi of d theta which is equal to 1 half a b times theta evaluated from 0 to 2 pi when we plug in the lower limit we get nothing plug in the upper limit we get 2 pi 2 pi let's see that would be 1 half a b times 2 pi the twos cancel out so this is equal to pi a b or a b pi and notice that is indeed the area of an ellipse where the constants are a and b. Wow, this is so much easier than using the typical way of integrating over the area of an ellipse. So notice Green's theorem is really a nice theorem that is applicable to a lot of different things, this being one of them.